Hey, what's going on? This is Neha Joy with Howcast Tech. So today we got the Echo, Amazon's smart home device and its cloud-based voice service, Alexa. That's just a fancy way of saying virtual assistant. It's like Siri or Google Now or Cortana, you get it. Entirely voice activated, Alexa can tell you the weather, traffic, news, sports, schedule, shopping list, and even plays music. I can do many things. And she can do even more if you've got a Prime account. Want her to play Prime music? Want to order items directly from Amazon? You'll want to sign up for Prime, but We'll get to that later. So what's in the box? Included is the Echo, power adapter, quick setup card, and a things to try card. The Echo remote is sold separately. Hardware! Found on top of your Echo is the light ring. It tells you what Alexa, the virtual assistant, is doing. When it's off, Alexa's ready for requests. When it's blue, she's processing them. Also on top are its two and only buttons. The action button, which wakes her up and silences alarms and timers, and the microphone off button, which, you guessed it, turns the microphone off. This stops Alexa from answering your requests. When it is toggled, the light ring turns red. Finally, wrapping around the top is the volume ring. As you use it, the light ring turns white, showing you the volume level. Now, all this said, the main way you'll actually interact with Echo is through voice command, utilizing the seven built-in microphones and its omnidirectional speaker. You should also note, underneath the device, you'll find the plug and reset button. That's right, this sucker is not portable. If you want, you can press and hold that button for five seconds to reset its factory settings. Pretty much there in case I mess you up with the following setup guide. Setting her up. This is the not fun part, but we're gonna plow through and own this nonsense and it's gonna be great. First things first, you gotta download the Alexa app for free from your mobile app store. Super easy. Side note, you can also access it on your computer at alexa.amazon.com. Now open the app and sign into your Amazon account. If you don't have one, you can sign up here. Bam! Once logged in, follow the simple on-screen directions and bang through the setup. Ta-da! Your setup's complete. That was awesome. How do I use this thing? So to use Alexa, first you say the wake word Alexa, followed by a voice command. Alexa, what time is it? It's 6.10. Alexa, how do you spell nefarious? Nefarious is... Alexa, Wikipedia Howcast. Howcast is a website that provides an... You get the idea. If you want, you can change the wake word via settings in the app. Wake word can be Amazon or it can be Alexa. The app! So most of the time you're going to be using Echo by talking to it, but the app itself is a central hub for dealing with settings and interfacing with most of its features. For example, Alexa can make shopping and to-do lists. Alexa, remind me to get groceries. Add gummy bears to my shopping list. Oh, and Snickers too. And add gym session to my to-do list. I've added gym session. Great. We'll see. Now she can read your lists out loud or you can access them in the app. Why would you want to do that? Let's take a look. When you first open the app, you'll see the home screen. This shows your request and action history. Tap the menu icon on the upper left to reveal, you guessed it, the menu, where you'll interface with all of Alexa's features. At the top are your shopping and to-do lists. Though you can add items vocally, you can only edit them in the app. You can also access additional options. Shop for items in the Amazon app, search for them in Bing, or even move them between lists. Alexa can also set timers and alarms. Alexa, remind me when it's 8 o'clock. Cannot miss The Bachelor. When the alarm goes off, you can either stop it or you can say, Alexa, snooze, which buys you another 9 minutes of Z's. You can also adjust the volume of timers and alarms separate from Echo's master volume in the app. Another feature Echo has is called Skills. Amazon partnered with developers to create various skills or new abilities added monthly to Alexa's repertoire. Basically, they let her do more stuff. Skills range from age calculator, Alexa, how old is someone born in 84? To for a fart, which lets you ask Alexa for a fart. To use a skill, it must be enabled first. And to enable it, you press that big blue button fat in the middle. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Music! Being that Echo is also a powerful Wi-Fi and Bluetooth speaker, it comes with many options for playing music and audiobooks. Included are seven content streaming services. Pandora, iHeartRadio, TuneIn, Audible, Kindle, Prime Music, and your Amazon Music Library. Which, what is that? With an Amazon account, you can upload up to 250 songs for free to your Amazon Music Library. If you want to add more, you can fork up an annual subscription fee. Your Amazon account also links Alexa to your Kindle Library, which, no joke, she can read you any of your books aloud in that awesome Alexa voice. To be or not to be, that is the question. If you're a Prime member, Amazon streaming service Prime Music is also available. Those others can be linked in the app via their respective accounts. What most of you are wondering is how to play music through iTunes or Spotify, or whatever is not those apps listed before. 
To do this, you'll need to pair Echo with your phone, or whichever device has that app you want to use. In settings, click your Echo's name and then open Bluetooth. You'll click pairing mode, where Alexa will prompt you with your Echo's Bluetooth name. Ready to pair. Thank you. Open Bluetooth settings on your mobile device and click that Bluetooth name. Alexa will then tell you you're connected to Bluetooth. Huzzah! You're now all set to play iTunes or Spotify or whatever through Echo speaker. In addition to music, Echo can tell you what's called your flash briefing, which apparently tested better than simply calling it the news. Alexa, give me a news update. Alexa, what's happening? Alexa, tell me my flash briefing. Here's your flash briefing. You can manage your news sources and settings under flash briefing. Sources range from NPR to <clears throat> TMZ. No judgment. Scrolling down further, you can also customize the type of news content you're getting. Along with the news, Alexa can also give you sports updates. You can either ask about specific games. Alexa, who won the Knicks game earlier? Alexa, when are the Jets playing next? Alexa, who's winning the Yankee Red Sox game? Or you can simply ask for a sports update, where by default she'll give you updates for your local teams. Though, all that said, and I bet you're way ahead of me now, you can pick and choose whatever teams you want your updates for by going to settings and opening sports updates. Seriously. Go Islanders. What else can Alexa tell you? Well, you can check in with her to find out about the weather and traffic for your daily commute. The fastest route takes about 31 minutes. Of course, you can update your commute starting and end points in the app, along with adding any stops in between via settings under traffic. For weather, Alexa accesses your default location. Though just like sports, this can be changed in settings under your Echo's name and device location. You can also just ask for the weather wherever. Alexa, what's the weather out in LA? What's the weather like up in Albany? What's the weather in Juneau, Alaska? Right now in Juneau, Alaska, it's 40 degrees with showers. Now Alexa can link to your Google Calendar as well. Just open Settings, Calendar, and click Link Google Calendar Account. Once linked, she can read events from your calendar. Alexa, what's on my schedule today? What's on my schedule this evening? What's going on tomorrow? When's my next hang time with Courtney? Your next hang time with Courtney is on Monday at 8 p.m. Alexa can also control a number of smart home appliances like lights, locks, outlets, detectors, thermostats, and a lot more. You can link Alexa to your smart home device by opening settings, connected home, and then tapping the device's link. If you don't see your device listed, tap discover devices, or you can simply say, Alexa, Discover devices. Starting discovery. Once discovered, follow the on-screen directions, and after linking, you'll be able to control these appliances with your voice. Alexa, turn on the lights. Turn the lights green. Make the lights blue. Make them red. Oh yeah, I kind of like the red. Now lastly, voice purchasing. It breaks down like this. Anyone can use voice purchasing to buy digital music and add it to their Amazon Music account. Alexa, download the latest Beyonce album. Buy Hotline Bling. Download Crash by Dave Matthews. What? But buying items from Amazon with voice purchasing is limited solely to Prime members. On top of that, you can only order items from your order history, i.e. things you've bought in the past. And those things gotta be Prime eligible. To activate voice purchasing, click Settings, Voice Purchasing, and toggle it on. Then you'll set a four-digit code, which you'll say every time you order something. Keeps your kids, or your lazy roommate, from buying stuff when you're not around. Alexa, order nail polish. Order hairspray. Order makeup remover. To order it, tell me your voice code. Now Amazon's constantly updating Alexa, expanding the variety of commands she can follow. If you're ever unsure of things you can say, check out things to try in the menu. For example, you can ask Alexa for measurements, calculations, spelling, definitions, and trivia. She also comes with a ton of Easter eggs. Alexa, beam me up. Transporter's engaged. Where's Waldo? He's well hidden. Is there a Santa? I don't know him personally. Make me a sandwich. I'm not a replicator. I mean, it goes on and on. What? Oh yeah, she knows the meaning of life. Also, when's the end of the world? I'm not lying. So thanks everyone for watching. You now know all about the Amazon Echo, or at least until her next update after this video's released. If you want to win this bad boy, we're giving it away. So head over to our Facebook page to find out how to enter. If you want more how-tos on the latest gadgetry, go ahead and click subscribe. I'm Neha Joy, and this has been Howcast Tech.